Okay, um, this is going to be a Goodwill Shop long video. I don't think I filmed an intro. Oh, there's that light again. Oh. Um, so if you guys are into a shop long video, here it is. Okay, so I'm going to do a voiceover for this video. Um, just basically because I didn't talk much and I had a mask on and I talk really like low. So you probably wouldn't have heard much of what I said anything. Most of it was like random outbursts. Like, <laughs> oh, I need this. Um, but anyway, this was a really cool old rocking horse from Rich Toys. And I know somebody else picked it up to resell while I was there. I think somebody quit their gambling problem because there was a lot of like casino related stuff. Look at that swamp oil painting. I should have checked that out. Um, they always have quite a bit of neat art at this Goodwill location. I was meeting a friend to give her some stuff from a live sale that I had recently done. And that's a beautiful metal art. It's a 3D like sunflower and a nice little handmade Jesus piece. Um, so at first, you, there's not a lot on the shelf. So I'm thinking, oh, it's a bust, you know? And this was like um, an Easter... A box of Easter eggs with toys inside for kids. So I'm not exactly sure what that was all about. Excuse my heater, it's cold outside. And I'd like to stay warm in my house. Um... There's a coffee pot in a box. This was really cool. I really wanted it. It was a slot machine cookie jar. And it'd be good for saving money. And I could have picked it up for myself, but it had a chip on the, like, light at the top that alerts the little casino gals that you need to hand pay. And so I passed on it. I'm probably going to, you know... And then I'm trying to get my camera to focus. Here's a Girl Scouts scrapbook. But I don't imagine there's much Girl Scouting going on this year. That was a snow globe. And it had a box. And I guess an employee came and just took the box away and threw it. Which is kind of weird. Cute little picture frame. Croquet sticks. And they were super old. I could have looked those up to see what they go for. But... I don't know. And there was a little kid's wooden oven. And I think I looked to see what company it was. It was something I had never heard of. Las Vegas. I want to say it was that picture frame. And now that I'm looking at it, like, why is it nautical themed? That was awesome. A little music box with a chick um, hatching, but it didn't. I think it had a chip on it as well. And a super big matchstick box. A cool bottle. Um, baseball stuff. That was cute. It was a little girl praying. It was a ceramic mug. By a Japanese company I'd never heard of. Um, can't quite make it out. I was an angel clock and it was pretty cool. Made me think of Maria the California Thrifter. But I wasn't sure if it worked, so I didn't pick it up. Tons of baseball mitts, like goodness. Oh, the Dybbuk box full of dolls. Um and I considered it, but I probably could have sold that as a metaphysical item on eBay. A little girl picked it up. As I was checking out. And I was like no. She got the Dybbuk box of dolls. And the guy kind of looked over. <laughs> the cashier. But there is a. Tylenol like. Medical supply bag. Um, some Easter stuff. I've never heard of that company. So I was like eh. And. I straightened up the giggle sign so I could 
show you that it says giggle. And this is like some feet. And I'm like, where's the top to the jar? It was made in Japan. It had crazing, but I never found the top. The box of of questions at a bridal shower. Um, I was looking at some books, and that look this little girl brought it up to her mom, and she's like, "Oh my God, I'm so glad I asked you to read me what was in your hands." <laughs> And it's a cute older dish too, but I believe it had a big chip as well. It's like a ceramic seafoam green. It had a ribbon on top, like an applied ribbon. Oh my god. Now how fancy is this? Although, I thought it was weird used. My heater shirt turns on a lot. A genie bidet! Now I've heard of the cat genie, the self-cleaning litter box, but... Like a warming bidet toilet seat. It just... What, what? And then that was some little wall mirror squares. 12 by 12s. And I like the box more than anything. It was supposed to be a dozen in there. I do not believe it had a dozen. But the box was so retro. Not retro. It was actually old school. So I had to show it. And it was distributed by Montgomery Ward. I don't know if you remember Montgomery Ward, but it turned into Maison Blanche and then later to Macy's and Parisians once upon a time. And that happened here in our town at least. They had a lot of clear glass, some was gold gilded, some had silver banding. That was really cool. It was like a modern or contemporary lusterware pig sachet or um what's the other name for it oh i had a little girl pomodor those plates were really nice they said usa on them i just like the design but it wasn't a full set there's a silver banded like crystal bowl i was talking about i can't sell those um peacocks i think pure one no cypress i just thought they were pretty and would make pretty wall plates Again, that would have been something I have to list, and I'm kind of behind on my listings. Um, Pier 1, our Pier 1 closed down. Thank you, COVID. Now, these had impressions, stamps, numbers, a maker's mark. Um, I was really curious about those. And then I think I had gotten distracted and never went back to them. Or, no, I think I just decided I don't need any more plates. Sorry, my hair is in the shot. It's just, I need to buy some ponytails. Oh, and that's me, like, thinking about it again. And being like, no, don't do it. Yes, do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> you can see I was really thinking on those salad plate and I was like no modern those were cool Christmas plates they didn't have a full set they had some man mandala mandala looking ones at the bottom and they were world market they were good quality and really pretty but I don't have a kitchen so oh and this is when they rolled out another cart y'all should have heard the stampede Oh my gosh, so this lady's like, mine, candlesticks. And I'm like, ooh, peacocks. Ooh, ooh. And I don't know if I put it, no, I guess I kept filming. So the filming's going to be bad at this point because I'm just interested in trying to get to the stuff. Um, they're $4 a piece that so were super heavy, but they had no maker on the bottom. And... Me and that lady were like, we're going to put these on the shelf so that they don't break. And so we can dig some more. And those little turquoise pots had holes in them and drain pans. And I really need some, but I passed. I think there were more than I was willing to pay. That was an old candy, glass candy dish in a box. Old soup mug in a box. It was just one soup mug, or else, you know. And then I'm like, ooh, shelves, I need shelving. 
really bad and that's when I decided you need a basket really bad. Oh, oh those people hear some sound. Let me um let me um cut out the sound for you. Because as you can hear, um there's just a lot of banging going on. And then here we are, like, moving around like nobody's business. But I'm trying to juggle a bunch of stuff and film at the same time. So I grabbed a shelf. Well, let me not tell y'all what I grabbed so I can do a, a cover up the camera lens. Like, no, you can't see. So that I don't spoil the end boxing for you guys and I'm just you know standing here filming a piece of furniture with my camera sideways so you guys are like floating off into the abyss okay so that lady was like I want baskets obviously and I'm like I want to film booties in the floor and booties in the floor And so people are crowded around discussing the new cart. And one lady was like, this is really cool. And it was. I forget who the maker of those. But I have a puzzle board like that I want to list. And that was a little house. And you, I guess, had different types of locks for the kids to learn how to use. And she ends up putting it back. And I look at it and I decide against it. She had a pretty metal bowl as well. She was like my little gabbing buddy. We talked about the items on the cart. I don't know why I'm Okay, you guys. I may have went a little bit crazy um, today. I met a friend up at the get well to give her an order she had purchased at my live sale. So I need some shells because you guys know I like to collect these. I don't know why I'm still wearing my mask outside. Got some albums that are in mint condition. Like nobody listened to them. Well, I like the covers aren't mint. Got a CD player boombox because I still listen to CDs and I have no way to listen to them in my house. Um, I got my dad. It's really awesome. And so, well, I guess I'm gonna have to do a whole video. Today. Oh my god, all my money just fell on the ground. Because I'm good like that. And I the tin still in my pocket. I guess I'm supposed to show my face in the video. Um, so yeah, I'm leaving the Goodwill. I found a lot of great stuff. Um, I just like enjoyed myself. I enjoyed that live sale I had last night. It was fun with Hemlock Lady and hopefully we do it more often. I feel like we make a good team. She has a lot of great stuff, and, um, 
yeah so you know everybody stay positive if any negativity bursts into your life eject it <laughs> and take in the good and um you know we can't all be pop 100 percent positive all the time but like i've struggled in life with, ooh, with things like that and so i always you know try to post positive uplifting things for other people and i hope everyone does the same and I don't like drama, and I lost the tin on the ground, so I'm gonna go find that, hopefully. Okay, pace. Woo! Found that $10 bill. That's like a lot of money when you're <laughs> not employed, so that's a good thing. And positive! You know what happens when you're positive? Somebody was like 10 feet away from walking up on my $10 bill, too. But on a bummer side i just noticed one of my running lights is out and i was gonna say when you have a fancy car you have these things called running lights that are on just for safety but i'm pretty sure probably every car has it now um i've always driven 90s cars until my last car which was the first one i ever got to buy and then somebody decided to just not pay attention to what they were doing and slam into the back of me while I stopped at a red light and they told it really badly and so now I have and this car is a little older but but it had less miles and it had more safety I think better be all I was doing was asking about knee airbags the whole time I was shopping for cars and it's a um, Toyota Avalon. So probably all cars have running lights now that are like since 2000. Maybe not as I'm seeing cars go by. But unfortunately, long story short, because I ramble all the time, my running lights out. So I'll have to get one of those. What time is it? 3.45? I might beat my dad home. Lord willing. Okay. I'm driving. Bye. So that is it for the Goodwill trip. Um, make sure you guys look out for my haul video tomorrow. And I'm going to try to get it done tonight so it actually comes out tomorrow. Peace.